Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had discussed with Shale what we ended up learning about in uh, the Deep Roads, trying to find the Anvil of the Void. And it is that, uh, well, there's a lot of shenanigans <laughs> involved in what made Golems, and that she was once squishy and dwarven so we're now gonna go out and find that out the old-fashioned way uh, i'm going to bring i guess at this point all the girls yes and we shall all head out to this place that opened up kadash taig kadash taig is well a quick way to get into the tags, I guess. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. And we did. We got in quicker than I thought. Cool. And now it's time to get everyone's abilities turned on there we go you might also notice a little bit of uh differences in armor for at least uh me <laughs> uh that's that's actually a thing um, i'm gonna turn on threaten and stoneheart and then th then precise should be good enough i think yeah, that's everything. Good. All right. Um, you might notice my armor looks different. My swords look different. Uh, turns out <laughs> that there is a bug, a bug I exploited, <laughs> that allows me to move the quality of some of my stuff higher. Uh, the Warden Commander armor is now silverite and now equipped on me. Um, it's actually pretty good pretty good um, with everything that's added with it it's actually pretty good for my needs and then I got <laughs> Duncan's sword and dagger upgraded to dragon bone and you might be asking well stray how did you manage to do the quirky thing and why couldn't you do it for helm of Hanleith well um, <laughs> I kind of thoroughly tested it and found out that the Helm of Hanleith is immune to this bug, but not anything else, <laughs> weirdly enough. Um, basically, I jumped back and forth from inventory. It's kind of what we've been seeing uh, with uh, some of the equipment that I sold off being upgraded in quality after I've sold it off and come back to see their buyback inventory. It's basically the same thing, but what I did was use the party chest from Soldier's Peak. It does the same exact function. It moves around quality a little bit and upgrades or downgrades seemingly at random. So, uh, for a little while, Esturian's Might was actually bumped down to steel <laughs> occasionally. It's currently at Silverite. It was bumped down to steel occasionally. That was a little annoying. But other than that, I got all of these up to Dragonbone, got these up to Silverite, and I did pretty much the same for everyone else's equipment. Uh, not as much for her, because um, there's only so much I can do, but I did get the Imperial Weavers and the Black Hand Gauntlets turned up a little bit, and then I did similar thing for Conspirators Foil, Repeater Gloves, and Bards. Dancing Shoes for Leliana. That's actually I bought for her from... Dup, 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 who was it? Uh, the dwarf vendor who's in our camp. That's where I got it from. Not the point. The point is... <laughs> I had these and I gave them to her and it's good. 
couldn't unfortunately do it with the shielded dwarven armor. A little annoying. But she's now upgraded to flawless as well. And we're all sitting pretty well in our equipment. Now that I kind of cheatsy doodle it. But it's not the point. The point is I'm moving forward now. To More learn foul, about shale. Got it. Since this is now opened up because of shale. Oh boy. Now I'm probably going to blow through all of these guys like it's nothing. And Shale is actually doing extremely good as a tank. Doing fantastic. Alright. And... Good. That went way better than I expected. Alright. Okay. That's taken care of. Chainmail Silverite. Didn't expect to grab that. Not that I'm complaining. Alright, um... I'll need to sell it because it's not worth it for anyone, but... Something. Okay. Moving further in. Getting things in the rubble. It's all green down here. It's shocking that it's all green. Much like she is. This is it. Kadash Tide. How do you know that? I do not know. It is an odd thing to experience. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Sounds good. Also, there was a bit of a graphical glitch, as you might have seen. <laughs> Some of her stones were staying in place, but her uh, body dimensions were being goofed up by the aura coming off of me <laughs> in that cutscene. It did make it look a little weird, but it's fine. It's fine because it was cool. Also, turning on Berserk again. I am mildly annoyed. I have to keep turning that on, but it's fine. Did I live here? That is a question. Watch out. There's dark spawn over there. Well, there's dark spawn all over the place there, Liliana. There's not much we can really do about that. We can, however, let them come to us. No, like, killing them a lot easier. And there we go. Away! I'm just tanking arrows the whole time. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Oh boy. Oh dear. I just realized I have a Bronto on my tail. That's not going to end well for me, unless I do something about it. Okay. And we target the Herlock now. Just to get rid of melee annoyance. And we're done. Rather, a ranged annoyance is what I should have said. But my brain was too focused on the tactics and not focused enough on English. That is my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. We got here nothing nice little pool I'll give it that but nothing of import what about over here though deep mushroom and oh a chest with a viridium dwarven mace me not perfect I keep hitting that button when I mean this button it's not perfect, but it's something. Alrighty. Well, hello! Oh, and I'm stunned by mage. Of course I am. Okay. 
little healing, a little extra healing would be nice. Oh joy, I'm getting damaged. And there's no healing I can get because of the Herlock Emissary's bullshit. Hooray. And I'm dead. Alright. I might as well just swap over to... <laughs> Swap over to Shale, because she's getting the most action out of this so far. Alright, there we go. Alright. There we go. And I'm now no longer dead. <laughs> and if I have my way, no longer injured. Perfect. Fantastic. All right, pile of junk gives me a junk piece of <laughs> crap. Okay, well, uh, no, that's not who I want. I want this one. There we go. Ooh, a lot of money and a like decent crossbow. Of course. And we're going to fix all of this. Turn all of that on. And ta-da! Cool. Fantastic. Now I feel better. <laughs> Even though I got completely and utterly fucked. Hello, a lot of money and a blood-gorged amulet. Okay. Scrapping that. Unfortunately going to sell that. Don't need this because she's already equipped with it. Blood-gorged amulet. Whoa. You get a lot of constitution, but you lose strength and will power because of it. Blood weeps endlessly from the crusted seams of this rotten thing, staining your chest a gory red. How about no? How about we don't do that? How about we don't put that on my person? Or any person in my party, for that matter. I see nothing. Whatever was once here is gone. Whatever was once here is gone. What does that mean? Was there something that used to be here? Huh. Be cautious. Creatures are oh, hi there. Oh, well, a whole lot of group stoppers. Oh, well. These are barely anything to be worried about. Okay. And I can just loot them while on the fly, which is kind of nice. Cool. And now, time for combat. Alright. In we go! And I'm sick. Of course I am. Always the first into the fray, so I'm always the first to get stuck. Every time. Alright. I didn't even really need to jump in to save Leliana. She kind of already helped. Disarm failed. Well, I can't do that then. Okay that and that before they get the rest of us cool fantastic time to blow through all of this pile of junk more junk that i don't need hooray iron bark interesting but still almost none of it really worthwhile <sighs> boy so, I'm going to toss that and that into the junk pile. Also, going to go ahead and keep wandering around to get good junk to sell later. 
Alright. There's that. And... Did I miss anything? I did. Right ahead. Where's the trap? Ugh. Where was the trap, though? You said there was a trap. Where was the trap? Huh. Well, there's a wooden crate up. Ooh. Iridium scaled boots. Interesting. Didn't expect that. Uh, still don't need them, but interesting. Can't wear them to boot either. Where was the trap that you're talking about? Or are you talking about the traps we just saw? And we just finished. I don't know what you're talking about, Liliana. I have no idea at all. There's a trap. We've already set it off. Or something. I don't know. I have no idea. <gasps> oh. Why would you put a trap there? Stop poking me. But it's fun. Mainly because I want to see if there is any squishy bits left. So it's fun. I mean, you were squishy once, so some of it's got to be still in there. Looks like we might be in for another fight. Yeah, just a little. All right. I am getting a lot. Of dark stalkers. Deep stalkers on me, not dark stalkers. Uh, much as I would like some of them on me, <laughs> we're not getting dark stalkers on me, unfortunately. No fan art of Felicia on Stray, please. That's the last thing I in my timeline. I already have enough of that sort of thing in my time flying this is. There we go. Oh, the leader. I will take you out real quick. Goodbye. Cool. Pile of boons. Ooh, dagger. Okay. Take you and take your stuff, whatever you have. A lot of money. That's what you have. A lot of money. Look, and might be in for I'm not surprised. Okay. More. As I'm trying to loot, I can't avoid them. As I'm trying to loot. Like, come on. Let me do. Let me do the thing I am good at. Which is looting. Everything. Alright. Whatever. Moving on. Looting now completed. Or at least as far as I'm able to go. And I think I picked up something interesting there, didn't I? Yeah. Dagger and mace. Not going to hold on to them, but I can sell them. Frost cool rock. With filth. Typical. Well, I mean, you know. Inside a cave. Oh, hi there, Ray. How you doing? Okay, we'll get you taken care of. Liliana, what are you doing? I have no idea what she was doing, but it was very foolish of her to go this far into the enemy's territory. Hi there. I guess I'll do that. Well, that could have gone worse, considering... Goodbye. You're pathetic. <laughs> you're, 
you're dead. That's good. Ooh. Ah, of course. Ah, of course I have. We are getting stunned constantly. Alright. Well, we're doing okay. Okay. That could have gone worse, considering I was completely and utterly ambushed that time. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Now I can loot back. Get all of this loot, which is all good. What is that supposed to be? It's supposed to be a light source of some kind? I'm assuming, because there's red light coming off of it. It's got to be the case. Anyway, loop around here again. Make sure I didn't miss nothing. I didn't. Okay, good. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming it is, because it's now doing that over here, too. So, okay. Light source. That's what that is. Weird shape. Frickin' thing. Anyway, um, turning Berserk back on, as I constantly have to do. And let's see what I've picked up. That, and... Oh, she had fire arrows on that one, so... Cool. Ice arrows for this one. Oh, come on. I cycle her weapons once. There was no reason. None. Because they're all the same kind of weapon. Hey, whatever. I'll get on it. Get on it faster. There we go. Alright. Doing about as well as we could hope, considering. Genlock Alpha sitting right over there. Alright. Good with you, you're down. Good with you, you're down. Start taking down archers. And we're good. Cool. Could have gone worse, considering. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money I won't complain about. There we go. We are pulling in a lot of cash. A lot of cash. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm okay with this turn of events. Considering it's netting me a lot of cash. Oh, I'm not allowed to? Okay. And hers is on, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't need to worry about shit. Uh, it's fine. We'll keep on moving. I'm uncertain what I hope to find here. Me too. But honestly, it's half the fun. Alrighty. Saving content. There we go. Auto save just in case. Well, that was a noise. Noise of what? I don't know, but it was a noise. What do we got? Ow. Twisted creatures. That's what that is. Hello. Okay. Oh, we have shrieks in here now? Of course we do. Can't ever get in a fair fight with them. It's always got to be shenanigans. Boo. Yeah. Just 
about to say, I was pretty sure they'd be able to handle the shrieks, no problem. And now I can... Whoa! Kadesh Stompers, whatever that is. Oh! Two dexterity, two armor, two ranged critical, two melee critical increases hostility. Well, I mean, I'm not sure about wanting the increased hostility, but... The rest of it's pretty good. The rest of it's pretty damn good. I mean, I'll take it. Ooh, and I get a decent chunk of money from that, too. And a large, flawless spirit crystal. Which, while I don't think I'll be outfitting her in anything like that, anytime soon. Strange crystal cluster. Ooh, small, flawless ice. Small, flawless natural, which I already had. Dead Tig Shanker. Then Dwarven Longsword and small, flawless lightning crystal. I gotta look at some of these. Don't need that. And I'm not sure I need any of these. So I'll just do that. Kadash Stompers, that's not too bad. We already looked at that. The Dead Tig Shanker. What is that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Interrupt spell casting, armor penetration, five cunning, six attack. Not too shabby. As the great dwarven tigs fell one by one, some dwarves lingered on in hiding, preying on the dark spawn in the shadows of their former homes. And boy, did they do a good job of it with that. My goodness. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And this is the monument I guess we're supposed to read. Or look at. The mark keeps moving. It's what weird. do you wish of me? I didn't need something yet from you. There we go. What yes. is this? This. This I remember. It has dates and names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became columns. And there is my name, Shale of House Kadash. I recognize it. I was not created as I am now. I was once a creature of living flesh, a dwarf and a woman. This is a revelation. Looks like an evil revelation with the aura she's giving herself off of Threaten. Um, the anvil did use living souls to make golems. Perhaps. It is one thing to believe, however, and another to know. Mm. I will need to think on these things I have learned. Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. Okay. Hey, look at that. Shale approves and got minor strength as well. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. The reason why that didn't give an achievement was because I did that on my other safe. But that's not the point. <laughs> I wanted to see what net benefits it would give. And now we know. So now we can get out of here. I guess head to Lake Kalenhod. Because, well, I'm not going to Denerim yet. Not if I can help it. Oh, boy. What's this about? Oh. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. Um. Marta? Pile of ore. 
meteor metal ore. This hunk of rock fell from the sky, perhaps the last remnant of another world far off in the sky. If you could find a smith with the skill to temper it. Well. Cool. Didn't expect that that's what I would get on this trip. Okay, so. Marta is a nod to Martha. Martha Kent. This is Superman. <laughs> this is Superman, what happened here. There are two farmers <laughs> that stumbled upon a baby from the sky that came out of a <laughs> life pod from another planet. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what you're supposed to infer from that. But yeah. Yeah. Now that I have the star metal, in fact, um, there's a thing we should be doing. The question is, I don't know what I want to do with it. Because you remember the smith from uh, Soldier's Peak. The uh, brother of the guy we were helping. Who's very good at smithing. He can make that into a sword. He can make that into a long sword, which is one-handed, or a great sword, which is two-handed. The question is, I'm not sure if I want to give it to me when I can inevitably use two swords, or if I want to give it to someone else who can use a two-handed weapon. Right now, that means both Sten and Ogren. But I don't typically have those two with me. <laughs> Which is the weird thing. So I'm not sure. Pigeon crap. <laughs> yes. Pigeon crap. Well, I mean, yeah. Also, as you can see, I did get their armor also kitted out to Silverite at least. So it's all good. I didn't do much with Zen. I didn't do much with his armor and stuff. But I did get everyone else to that. So that's the important part. Okay. Okay, so. Um, I'm unsure what to do. Because at this point, I want to double check. Okay, there's nothing here. Cool. Actually, I think there might be a thing I can do here. Blood and damnation. Okay, there we go. Got Ogryn. <laughs> This fucking hat. Uh, Ogryn, buddy. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. About? You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. Take your time. What is it? I was thinking. Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar before I left, obviously. A girl you knew or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads. Name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. So you were. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. You cheated on Bronca. Me? Cheat? Ah! That iron thighed shrew had left me long before. And she cheated on me with that tramp Hespeth. Oh. I grant you, I didn't find out about that till after, but hey, truth is truth. 
Anyway, I she guess left for the surface a year back, and I haven't seen her since. All right. That's fair. I have to stretch out my leg a little bit. It's, it sucks getting old, tell you what. Okay. So, why did she leave? What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. Last I heard, she was going to live with her mother on the surface near some lake. <sighs> Clean, bad lake, was it? Yeah, I saw it. I don't remember. Callan had. Yeah, we're here right now. No, no, I think it was clean bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right. Dirty good, clean bad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but thanks for offering to take us there. You're a good friend, Warden. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Uh, that was it. That was literally it. I... All right. Then. And his hat comes off for that. I don't understand. Doesn't matter. We're helping him do the thing. Because she she's is. right there. I'm going to go talk to her. Look, you got to back me up here. Got it? <laughs> she's not a genlock. You can handle her on your own. Yeah, you haven't met her, I take it. How dangerous can she be? Uh, we parted company under... <laughs> Less than friendly terms. Uh, what do you mean by that? She threw me out of her house and tossed all my clothes into a lava vent. Threatened to take a pair of smithing tongs to... Well, you get the idea. Ah. <laughs> she always was cute when she was angry. Okay. All right. Uh, Ogren is sounding more like me by the day. <laughs> more the way I used to be by the day, I should say. I am not <laughs> exactly like this anymore. I used to be, I'm willing to admit. But this is not me anymore. Stop being a wimp. Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well... Don't pry her off me too soon. Okay. I mean, a little scene's all right. But you just go. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Oh, come on. Ogren, is that you? Yeah. Is that really the best you got? Baby. What are you doing here? Come on, uh, man. Just trying come to on. kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Yeah. <laughs> I could step in. I could just insult him. Or I could just watch. I have a feeling he'll get mad if I insult him. But... <laughs> it's really tempting. <laughs> This man took on an army of golems almost single-handed. It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> a whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Mm-hmm. Eh, uh, well... Uh... Tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsey. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Brontos behind. Wow. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. <laughs> you don't miss Ogryn just a little bit? I don't know. I haven't tried to hit him yet. But you were thinking about it. Weren't ya? <laughs> Agren, I'm sure I can speak for everyone when I say that there's nobody in Thedas who doesn't think about hitting you. In the face. With a hammer. <laughs> Admit it, Agren is much more fun than the men around here. If by fun, you mean more likely to light farts on fire? Yes. Oh, I mean... Well, it's been fun, Felsey. <laughs> it but can I be fun. Go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. 
I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what. Is this their style of flirting? Do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled. You frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. What? First off, wow, that's a lot of frames I dropped for no reason. Also, too, wow, what the hell is that flirting style, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the absolute hell <laughs> was that? What? <laughs> is that the epitome of a toxic relationship? Isn't that what that is? Literally just sit there beating each other and insulting each other. I just, I just indirectly outlined the relationship one of my employees has. <laughs> just indirectly without intending to. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Um, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunately what he's going through. But still, um, wow. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm. I guess that works. <laughs> I still got it. Was that a success? Are you sure? Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Shh. Sure, let's go. Aye, all right then. And there goes the hat again, and then just jumps back on. Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand nothing anymore. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, but whatever. I am, I'm so, I'm so utterly baffled. I don't think it matters much. Thunder Humper. Thunder Humper, excuse me. Pardon? Alright. Well, I'm gonna try and figure out what caused all those dropped frames and maybe, hopefully, fix it. <laughs> if it hadn't fixed itself. And then I guess we go to the circle tower? Find out what'll happen there? Maybe. Hopefully? I don't know. It'll be a mess, whatever it is. That's for sure. Uh, just gonna get him all set up and get her all set up. And there we go. And then get me in berserk and we're all good. Cool. So we're ready to head on over. But that'll be in the next episode. Haha, -ha, cliffhangers. Oh, that's my my shtick. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and basically finishing up with learning how Shale's origins started and her name uh, was apparently not far off from what she told me. So, I mean, I guess there's that. So... At least we're not giving her the wrong name, I guess. Also, we helped Ogren get together with an old flame, I guess, kind of. That, that it's weird. It's a weird thing. And now we're heading over to the circle, which I guess bringing a former Templar and an apostate with me is the weirdest combo. But fuck it. Why not? So, we'll get to that in the next episode.
for you.